guys, what's up? So today I'm going to talk about hair and not just hair but healthy hair and healthy strong hair. So if you saw my last video, I told you guys, not my last video, it was about two videos ago, um, it was called Beauty Ramble hair and nails. I was telling you guys how much I hated my hair because I wasn't cleansing it right. And um, I kind of told you guys that I was going to go on a hair journey to long, healthy, strong hair. And so this is me documenting that journey. Um, I wanted to do this just kind of as motivation to get feedback from you guys because I think it's going to be hard to do what I'm doing. I kind of brainstormed up a bunch of ideas that I could do to get thicker, healthier hair, um, and longer hair too in one year, so 365 days. And so the first thing that I did was cut my hair off because I had split ends and I'm pretty sure that like 98% of women and possibly men too in America and the whole world actually have split ends. So I cut mine off. I just asked my hairstylist to take off my damaged ends and all the split ends that she could find and so this is how much she cut off. It wasn't a lot, thank god, but it's, it's not really that significantly shorter, it's a good length. She cut it off and I kind of asked her for a couple of ideas and she gave me a lot of ideas for longer, stronger hair because I told her that I was growing it out and she gave me a lot of ideas which I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, so I decided to start this little journey to long, healthy, strong hair um, about a week or two ago and the first thing I did was get my hair cut. I got it cut two weeks ago. The second thing I did was to order a new cleansing treatment that was sulfate free, phosphate free, all those harsh chemicals for your hair free and kind of more on the organic side. Um, and I ordered one. Yeah, one. When the one is like the, they have a commercial about it. Not a commercial, they have like this whole segment on it on TV like in the middle of the night or like on the paid program channel so this is when and one day I was watching it and I disordered, decided to order it because it's exactly what I've been looking for so I ordered it a week ago and I got it yesterday and I was really excited because I had just been really looking forward to it I had heard a lot of reviews some good some bad but I was willing to try it for myself so what I can say is that I used it today and my hair is super, super soft. I only used one product in my hair, which was the Wen Sweet Almond Styling Cream. And I used about a pea size, literally. I used a really little bit, just like kind of over my hair. And my hair is so soft. I wish that you guys could feel it. Like, I've been touching my hair all day. And I've been telling my sister, touch my hair, touch my hair. And she's like, oh my god, it's so soft and it feels full. And I'm really happy with it. So, um... I'm just going to tell you what one came with. came with the cleansing cream, cleansing conditioner. It's kind of like a cleanser, shampoo, and conditioner in one. And I saw a couple of reviews online, and it said, a lot of people said that it left your hair really oily. But I think that the reason that it leaves it oily is because you don't scrub well enough. Since it does feel like a conditioner, you probably tend to focus on the ends versus focusing on scrubbing like a normal shampoo. So I make sure to scrub very well and it does not feel oily, it feels perfect. When came with the cleansing cream, conditioner I mean, styling cream, this deep conditioning mask, well it was called Re-Moist Intensive Hair Treatment. And this texture balm which is like wax um yeah I, and it also came with a brush there it is not a brush a comb to like kind of brush your hair through when you have the product in, t in the shower as I keep documenting my journey to long healthy 
hair. I'm going to keep telling you guys about when to see the changes that it does, if it like the changes are good or if the changes are bad, because some people have said that on the first day they're wow, like oh my god, my hair is so amazing. The second, sometimes even the second shower they're so wow, but by the third or fourth, the you know way that the performance starts to kind of decrease. So I'm going to tell you guys about that. Um, I'm going to get started on the tips. A tip that I have for growing out strong, healthy hair, this tip is kind of more for long hair, is to use a petal comb like this. This one's by Healthy Hair. Massage Brush Healthy Hair Olivia Garden. And if you can see that, I don't know if my, my camera's going to focus, there's like little massaging little bolts at the end of the bristles. And this is so that you can kind of massage your hair through. My hair salons give me this tip to massage my hair every night before I go to bed and to brush my hair out every night before I go to bed. When I brush my hair out, it's going to distribute all my natural oils that I have in my hair throughout my whole hair and the natural oils that your hair and your head naturally produces are really healthy for your hair. Um, so you want to brush it out every night before going to bed and that's what I've been doing for the past week. Um, and also to massage your scalp. So I prefer, even though I have that massage brush, I prefer to use my fingertips because they have warmth and it kind of stimulates my scalp better. And so when you massage your scalp, ultimately ends up stimulating your blood flow and making your hair grow. So I just massage it because I think that the warmth of my fingertips allows the stimulation to kind of go by, like kind of intensify it a bit. And the next thing I do, that's a good tip, is I do a mask on my hair once a week. This is the mask that I had been using. It's by It's a 10 and it's a massage mask. It's called Miracle Hair Mask. So the 10 things this does, it does is detangles, restores moist balance, um, instantly restores elasticity, softens, smooths, imparts luminous shine, enhances natural body, nourishes, defrizzes, improves color vibrancy. So I had been using this and I really like it. It smells really good. I like the smell and I'm big on smell because I like smelling good. It smells nice and I would leave it on for about 10 minutes and I would only do it once a week. Um, when you do hair masks, you want to only do them once a week because if you use, if you use it like in place of your conditioner or more than once a week, your hair is going to start, the mask is really thick and it's going to start weighing the hair cuticle down and your hair is ultimately going to break off and start to fall off. So it's kind of one of those things that you know, a little goes a long way because if you use too much, you're going to suffer. Um, but I've been using this one, but now that the when one's here, I'm going to start using this one because I'm going to kind of go on an only when little streak to see if I can get the full results that when can offer. I haven't tried this, but this says that you're supposed to use it for 24 hours, that for best results, it's best to use it overnight, which isn't 24 hours, it's like 12 hours or 8 <laughs> um, so I don't know if I'd be able to do that whole overnight thing because I'd probably end up with um, this mask all over my face and all over my sheets even if I put like a like um, hair cap on because I tend to move a crazy lot during my sleep so it smells amazing there's a little amount so I'm guessing that with this mask a little goes a long way either that or they just want you to buy it more I want you to keep buying it like crazy so they only give you just enough. So this tip, this next tip that I'm going to share with you, I got from a hairstylist like two years back. And I do it once in a blue moon, but it's basically flipping your head over on your bed or on a couch. And it's going to rush all your blood to your head, stimulating your scalp a whole bunch and making your hair grow. So you're supposed to do it like 10 minutes every day or, I don't know, as often as you can, as often as you can stand it. And it looks like this.
Alright, so the final step that I kind of have is using growth oil. So this is it. And you could just you could just use any type of hair growth hair products that there is out there. So there is a ton. There's the only one I can think of off the top of my head is Made in Tail. Made in Tail is like this shampoo that uh, was originally meant for horses, but and it made they saw that the hair on the horse was growing crazy amount when they started to use this. So they made a formula for humans. And supposedly it makes your hair grow. But this one's the one that I have, and you can buy that one at Sally's, and it's a really affordable price. I think it's only like five, six dollars plus tax. Um, but this one's the one that I have. Do grow, stimulating growth oil. Promotes strong, healthy, growing hair. But what I do with this is just, up, it has like this nozzle right here, so you can just apply it right onto your hair. And it's oil, it makes your hair like really oily. So what I usually do is just apply it, massage it in with my fingertips for about five minutes, and then put a hair cap on and sleep with it. All I can say is that I don't sleep very comfortable, <laughs> but you could just apply this during the day, massage it, and then put your hair up and spend the day like that um, until you until your next hair wash. That's all the tips that I have for now. Um, I'm going to go see my hairstylist, I think like in about three to four weeks, and I'll ask her more tips, and I'll kind of do some investigation. I'll ask my mom, because my mom's a hairstylist, but I don't allow her to uh, don't allow her to cut my hair because she usually does, does. <laughs> she usually does whatever she wants with it, and I'm not okay with that because you know it has to be it's my hair. I get to decide what I want, so I don't let her cut my hair. But my mom is a hairstylist, and she used to work at a salon until she got fired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she had kids. When she had me, she stopped working at the salon, so she didn't get fired. But um, yeah, that come to the end of my video okay so I love you guys all and make sure to visit my blog thebeautylicious.blogspot.com because I have a ton of tips that I give you guys on there too about makeup, hair, health, beauty, everything I say health really well, health, bye!